Vayu, Sanskrit, Vayu Sanskrit pronunciation, Aju, is a primary Hindu deity, the lord of the winds, the father of Bhima and the spiritual father of Hanuman. He is also known as Anil, air, wind, Vion, air, vada, airy element, Tanan, the wind, Pavan, the purifier, and sometimes Prana. The breath. Topic Connotations. The word for air, vayu, or wind, pavana, is one of the classical elements in Hinduism. The Sanskrit word vada literally means blown, vayu, blower, and prana breathing viz the breath of life cf the asterisk and in animate hence the primary referent of the word is the deity of life who is sometimes for clarity referred to as mukya vayu the chief vayu or mukya prana the chief of life sometimes the word vayu which is more generally used in the sense of the physical air or wind, is used as a synonym for prana. Vada, an additional name for vayu, is the root of the Sanskrit and Hindi term for atmosphere. Vedavaranam, Pavan is also a fairly common Hindu name. Pavana played an important role in Anjana's begetting Hanuman as her child so Hanuman is also called Pavanaputra son of Pavana and Vayaputra In the Mahabharata Bhima was the son and an incarnation of Vayu and played a major role in the Kurukshetra war He utilized his huge power and skill with the mace for supporting Dharma Topic: Hindu texts and philosophy. In the hymns, Vayu is described as having exceptional beauty and moving noisily in his shining coach, driven by two or forty-nine or one thousand white and purple horses. A white banner is his main attribute. Like the other atmospheric deities, he is a fighter and destroyer, powerful and heroic. In the Upanishads, there are numerous statements and illustrations of the greatness of Vayu. The Brihadaranyaka Upanishad states that the gods who control bodily functions once engaged in a contest to determine who among them is the greatest. When a deity such as that of vision would leave a man's body, that man would continue to live, albeit as a blind man and having regained the lost faculty once the errant deity returned to his post. One by one the deities all took their turns leaving the body, but the man continued to live on, though successively impaired in various ways. Finally, when Mukya Prana started to leave the body, all the other deities started to be inexorably pulled off their posts by force, just as a powerful horse yanks off pegs in the ground to which he is bound. This caused the other deities to realize that they can function only when empowered by Vayu, and can be overpowered by him easily. In another episode, Vayu is said to be the only deity not afflicted by demons of sin who were on the attack. The Chandogya Upanishad states that one cannot know Brahman except by knowing Vayu as the Ujjitha the mantric syllable Om, Madhwa Brahmins believe that Mukya Vayu also incarnated as Madhvacharya to teach worthy souls to worship the supreme god Vishnu. The first avatar of Vayu is considered to be Hanuman. His exploits are elucidated in Ramayana. 
The second avatar of Vayu is Bhima, one of the Pandavas appearing in the epic, Mahabharata. The third avatar is traditionally ascribed to Madhvacharya, a 13th century Indian philosopher. Buddhism In the Buddhism of the Far East, Vayu is one of the twelve devas, as guardian deities, who are found in or around Buddhist shrines In Japan, he has been called Fu Ten. He joins these other eleven devas of Buddhism, found in Japan and other parts of Southeast Asia, Indra Teishaku Ten, Agni Ka Ten, Yama Emma Ten, Nirti Risetsu Ten, Vayu Fu Ten, Ashana Ashana Ten, Kubara Taman Ten, Varuna Sway Ten, Brahma Ban Ten, Prithvi Kai Ten, Surya Nit Ten, Chandra Gat Ten. In popular culture See also List of wind deities Vayu Vada Muritz Rudras Rudra, the Vedic wind or storm god Vayu Purana